we got a red dot camera because you know that the video quality has not been that good. But anyways. Welcome one and all to the, ooh shoot, to the six. Yes, the sixth day of 12 days of Sapsmiths. And my true love gave to me on the sixth day sensational Christmas movies and TV specials. Now, originally this was supposed to be only movies, but I really thought I haven't really watched that many movies, Christmas movies per se, and I just wanted, or because originally it was going to be eight or seven, that really doesn't make for a video. So I decided to add specials, specials from TV shows and stuff. And boy oh boy, we got a lot. That ballooned from eight to 14. 14, can you believe it? Let's get to ranking. Okay, we are recording. So let's start off with the special from Amazing World of Gumball. That's one special where Richard's dumb self ran over Santa, yada, yada, yada. I, hmm, my system, bro, I know y'all watching this, so, okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this at C. I love Amazing World of Gumball. I love old Cartoon Network, semi-old Cartoon Network, like anybody else, but it's just like, um, it's a special. It really doesn't touch my, it didn't penetrate my soul as much as any of these other ones. So yeah, this is gonna be C. However, my mind could change. It could change at any time. Who knows? But yeah, on to the next one. This Frosty the Soul Man, not the 1972 version. I don't like that version. Sorry, but this is one of those few cases where the original isn't as good as the remake. This is the 2005 remake. It's that Frosty the Snowman with that messed up town of people that want to be goody too. It's, it's a messed up town, okay? They don't believe in magic, they're upright and stuff. This one is going up there for number B. Well, did I just say number B? Letter B because it's not, it's above Amazing World of Gumball, but it's not my top, top favorite. We're getting into that to a minute, but it's not. It's good, but some of the characters, some of them annoyed me, like this whole smiley teeth, not gums. You know, teeth, not gums. Stuff like that, that just annoyed me, and all the adults just thought of my nerves. Even towards the end, I didn't forgive any of them, but Moving on. Next up we have the regular show Christmas series. Yes! If you guys watch that, I love you and you guys are a Cartoon Network OG. Especially when he jumped in that volcano and Rippy chased after them. You know he a real friend. You know that they are a real friend if they were willing to jump in after you in a volcano full of hot lava. This is going at the very, very tippy top for sure. Many of y'all don't know this. Y'all know about the Shrek franchise, but, you, but did you guys know that they actually had a Christmas? Well, I... Mm, would it be considered? No, it's a Christmas movie. Christmas movie special, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it a Christmas movie, but it's Shrek the Halls. I, when I was younger, because my granddad gave me this on um, Blu-ray DVD back when we watched DVDs and stuff, but he gave me the DVD, and the thing is I was so scared at the beginning when he, when they did like the little rap and stuff like, Shrek the Halls, but dun 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 dun. I was scared of that for some reason, but yeah, this is going at the top four sure for childhood nostalgia. Next up, we've got the second Home Alone, which is not as good as the first Home Alone, okay? I like both of them, but if I had to choose between the second one or the first one, I'm gonna choose the first one, cause New York's already overhyped as it is, and it's just like, whatever, you're in New York, whatever. But this one, because actually, yeah, because I like this one, I'm gonna put it up there at, mm, actually, you know what, I like it, but it's gonna stay at B. It's gonna stay at B, and then I'll just put the first one at C. So, expect the first one alone to be at C later on. Next up is a, is, this is very nostalgic. Many of you guys probably don't know this. This came out in 2000. It was Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. You know, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Da 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 on Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa Claus, but as for me and Grandma, we believe, yeah. Can we just agree that Mel deserved to get put in jail and probably deserved to get hit upside her head, her dang self, because that woman was something else. You was willing to hide your grandma, hide her from the world and from, I think it's either the dad's parents or the mom's parents, from either of their, of their um, mothers, their parents or whatever. You were willing to do that just for some insurance? Really? Really? You wrong for that. You just, you just greedy. Get yourself a job, honestly. We got Elf. I love Will Ferrell, he is so, he's a very interesting actor. I think this is one of those movies where I love him the most than his other movies, only because his, his character, the Elf, is freaking hilarious. Very, very, um, he, he a little bit special. He, he one of those characters, you know, like, he's one of those characters where they just don't get it in the Supreme Fibers. Like, think of Ed from Good Burger, and then you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm gonna put you at 
See, because when I think of Christmas movies, obviously the first thing that pops into my head, like on the go, is Home Alone, and then it's Elf. I'm putting this at a D. There we go. Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol is one of those movies where it's good, but then it gets to a bore. I like it now more than I did as a little kid, only because now I appreciate it for its graphics and its effects. The effects and the graphics and the art were mwah, chef kisses. But back then I was just like, oh, what the heck is going on? Especially with present, like on the ghost from Christmas present, that dude, that, <laughs> That, that, that individual, he was freaking creepy, especially at the end where he turned into a skeleton, just laughing as he just died. And for a second, when I was a little kid, I thought that was Santa Claus, and when he evaporated, I was like, Santa died? Not on the same level as Elf, but I'ma put it on the same level as Amazing World Gumball, because it's just not, actually, no, forget it. I'ma just put it on the same level as Frosty the Snowman and Home Alone 2, how about that? For the very year, we're going to put you at A, cause this is my movie. Express, baby. I loved everything from the train to the presents with Santa and the bell and the hot chocolate. And I thought that one dude just hanging up on the roof, that dude was a little bit creepy, serving up some mortar oil to this kid. Like, what the heck? But everything else is just so good. And then Tom Hanks is just, ah, uh, so fit. But, and then that little girl that come, that someone looks like my cousin or someone looks like me, period. Like, this is why it's going at eight. This is why it's going at eight. Charlie Brown Christmas. I do not like the Christmas special as much as I like the Halloween special with the great pumpkin. I don't. I really don't. I do kind of like it's, um, <sighs> at first, I the Charlie Brown Christmas tree is, anybody would look at it. Like, if you look at a small Christmas tree, you would think, oh, Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That's where that term comes from. It's an iconic term, okay? So, because it's iconic, I'm gonna put it at C, but it's, it's not reaching, it's not reaching. I really couldn't get to it. Uh, not last Christmas, it was either last Christmas or the Christmas before that. I couldn't even get through my list of Christmas movies. This uh, movie included. <sighs> Y'all gonna be mad at me for this. And you know what, this is one of the reasons why I do not like Tim Burton. He's forcing me to choose. He's forcing me to choose. Why in the heck would you make a movie where two holidays are basically colliding with each other? Halloween and Christmas. Yes, I'm talking about the number before Christmas. It's one of those movies where you gotta um, choose, am I a Halloween lover or am I a Christmas lover? Because you can't watch the movie twice. In my opinion, you gotta pick. But I'm gonna put it on there because it's a favorite or whatever and it didn't make the Chris, I mean, uh, the Halloween cut, so. I'm gonna put it at D. Come at me if you want. It's my opinion. Home Alone, I already said that I was gonna put that at a scene. Kevin, he didn't have to do that with the milk. First of all, why do you have cups of milk near the um, passport? That's stupid. It's so freaking stupid. That's like having an open glass of water near your phone. What are you doing? You know that's gonna spill over. You're just gonna do this. It is gonna go over on the floor and stuff. Why would you do that? SpongeBob Christmas. This, um, yeah, this is a claim. I almost said claymation. This is a stop motion, I think, type of movie, I don't know. It's just that it, the characters in the setting looks like it's made of clay and it looks like it's made through um, stop motion. It's that one movie where Plankton poisoned a whole bunch of fruitcake and SpongeBob was the only one who wasn't immune to the jerk fruitcake and stuff. And it had that, don't be a jerk, it's Christmas. Ugh. I mean, me personally, SpongeBob annoys the heck out of me. There's only a few. The only thing that warms me up to SpongeBob are the dang memes that are made about this, man. Honestly, you can make a meme out of anything. Anything from the Spongebob series. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna just put this at F. And finally, sticking to the Spongebob topic, we have the Christmas special. This Christmas special is going all the way... Mm, I ain't putting it at B and I don't want to put it at C. So, did it. Eeny, meeny, 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 meeny. We're gonna put it at C. The Christmas special of Spongebob is actually 10 times better than the movie because it's stuck to the original art per se, and I like what Squibber did at the end. Squibber was actually really, really nice because in the movie, he was just a bored. He was bothersome. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the tier list. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And remember, these are my opinions. They're like buttholes. We all got them. They're like scalps. We all got them. And yeah, what are you gonna do? Just, if you don't like it, it's whatever. If you like it, cool. But if you don't like it, just pick up the pieces and then move on with your life. But I will see you guys in the next one as we continue this lovely, jolly series. Bye guys.